up, Beast People? Tito's here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Conquest Nuzlocke. So, we started off this series yesterday, so if you didn't check out the first episode to know how this game works and what is it about, make sure to check out the last episode. And before we get started on this Nuzlocke for real today, Make sure to fire punch like button down below if you're hyped for it. This is gonna be a lot of fun and I'm gonna explain you guys again a little bit about the Nuzlocke part because on yesterday's episode I actually got a really good comment from uh, the great Bulbasaurus, Pedro, which you guys should already know. He's really known on the community. Like, come on now, best GFX designer for me personally. He's really cool and... Uh, he brought, like, oh my god, the comment is gigantic, and he pointed out a lot of things, which is really good, and he pointed out, uh, like, a couple of aspects because of the, uh, Nuzlocke part of the series, which is really good because uh, he actually mentioned it, and he said that a lot of people didn't try to do a Nuzlocke on it before because of that, and it's actually really good points, like, for example, you guys can see right now we have two Pokemons, which is Eevee and Jigglypuff, and those two are main character Pokemon. So basically, what he said was that uh, basically on this game, because this is stuff I still don't know, like I never played this game, so like this, that was really like kind of new for me. I didn't know you would need the protagonists to be alive throughout the whole game. So basically, we can't just let, for example, one of the characters, if it dies and I apply the Nuzlocke, the Nuzlocke rule into it saying, oh, I can't use it anymore and I just stop using it. That's impossible, because I will need both characters to be on the fights to conquer other territories. So basically, I will kinda have to make a little exception there, and make a different type of rule, which would be... We only lose if both of them die. Like, make them unique as one Pokémon, because that's the only way I can eliminate them in case we lose. Like. If Eevee, if only Eevee dies, that doesn't count, because we're still gonna need it if we still win. We're gonna still need it to progress on the game story, that is the problem. So basically, to be able to um, continue with the game story, we're gonna have to apply that rule. So that's how this Nuzlocke for this game is gonna work. It's gonna be, we lose each other, whichever Pokemon uh, we're using, like from any other trainers, of course we lose them. And we can't use them again, but from the protagonists, since they both are needed to progress on the game, we're just gonna make them as a unique Pokemon, even though on the layout I will show them separately, because there are two Pokemons and it looks good on the layout, like it would make no sense just five slots and like two Pokemons on the same box, that would be weird. So basically, those two will count as like a unique Pokemon, I may make a little change on the layout so it can kinda still look like, hey, those two are like paired together, but uh, it won't change a whole lot. But yeah, basically that was a really good point from uh, Pedro's part, which I really appreciate, and again, I told him on the comments, you guys can go and read it, like he said everything there and I replied to him, but I'll say this in here in case you check out the video, like, thank you, like, legit thank you, like, that was a really good point. So, we're gonna solve that with that for now, which is, both are gonna be paired up. If Even if one dies, it doesn't matter. We'll continue playing, and we'll continue using that Pokémon. If both of the trainers die, then that's GG. That's game over. Like, that will count as we lost. That's it. So basically, this is gonna be a really hard Nuzlocke. More harder than I thought, because we can't let these two die. We just can't. So basically, I'm gonna have to play really carefully. So that's the only thing I want to point out before we started, because it's been already four minutes talking about this. Wow, that's crazy, I am too slow. So yeah, guys, let's get this started. Let's go, as you guys uh, saw the last episode, we were good to go into Ignis, the next kingdom, and try to conquer it, because there's three Pokemons, the powers are not really that high, the strongest is Chimchar with 65, and we have two with 73. So we should be good for now, so let's go into Ignis and battle. Let's make this, let's do it, and select warriors to go, and of course we just have these two, so we're gonna go with them. And yeah, this is basically how it's gonna work, we're just gonna have to maintain these two alive. As long as only one just dies, that doesn't matter, that is the thing, it won't matter. As many times as we die, it doesn't matter, because we'll still be on game, there's still one of them alive, so that doesn't count. 
Now, if both die, then that's GG. That is GG. There's no way, so... Okay, don't you call me cutie? I would never fight for someone like you anyway. Ha! Don't be so hasty. Once you see me in action, you might change your mind. Alright, I think it's time for battle, don't you? Okay. The text is still going kind of fast. I am all, but... We're good, we're good. Damn, the music. And the field. Oh my lord. Okay, I can see the handicaps on this level now. This is kind of another thing that Pedro mentioned, was that uh, levels have little... Um, kind of like... Gimmicky things to make damage on your Pokémons or make them faint. So, this is gonna be interesting. Turns left 20. Alright. We need to defeat the enemy. Tito's army's turn. Okay. This is the battlefield of Ignis. Pretty impressive, huh? The power, the pillars of fire and the magma will stop you from getting near me. But I chin tries and bother by things like that. Okay, so fire types are not affected by these uh, fire walls. Ha! <laughs> Hashtag fi too many firewalls. True? Oh my god. Now. I would prefer them to, to wait for them to come at me. Because we can't really go anywhere. We're just two, and if we go head on against them, we're maybe gonna lose. So I might as well just move my units in case of the fire. So let me just actually do this. Like this. Because why not? And let's just wait and see what is gonna happen. Out of my way! Okay, here comes the Tepig. Bidoof. Oh wow, why is he going over there? And there's the Chimchar. Wow, Chimchar just goes through the lava. Mortitos, look! Okay. Yup, I thought that would happen. And since there are times when the Pillars of Fire disappear. Okay. Yep, I actually thought of that. Like, there, there must be, like, random fires appearing all over the map, so I might as well be careful. Now, I know he's gonna come closer, so let me put these two together and end turn. Let's end turn, that's the best to do for now. I've got a big... I've got big ambitions, you know, wow. Uh, before long, all kingdoms will be mine, okay. Buddy, my kingdom isn't that weak, right? So, you ain't conquering my kingdom, so... So, yeah. And Ember, oh my god, it's a range. Okay, you're about to get destroyed. You can recover in hot springs. Oh. It has become active. Oh, damn. Are you alright, Eevee? Or two, at times like this, you should use the warrior the whatever. You see, but I wasn't just about to turn a Pokemon to move or to fight. It's a warrior's job to help out your Pokemon in the battlefield. You can use items and you can use warrior skills. You may not be fighting yourself, but you and your Pokemon are a team. Working together with your Pokemon in battles, what it truly really means to be a warrior. Warrior skills, sweet song. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, I can do this then. And top speed significantly increases range and potion. Okay. I'm good for now, so let's just attack this Chimchar and try and body him real quick. Bam! Nice and seven damage, and now we're gonna go with Jigglypuff. And actually, three times. Not bad, let's go. Bop! Oh my lord, there's a damage. Okay, now, Tepic is gonna attack, that's for sure. He's useless. How can you say that about your own partner? Wow. That is true. And yeah, you're getting here, like, why are you complaining? You're stupid. And here's the Ember, okay, we still have good HP. Okay, there's another Ember. Come on, you can take that, right? Oh my god, he got a crit! Wow! Oh no, please. And there's the fire, okay. Okay. Well, this is gonna be tough. Let's deal with this Chem Chart once and for all. Bam! Blaze. Oh no, you ain't getting that blaze, bitch. No, 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 no. You know what? Get the fuck out of here. I ain't letting you use blaze, no. Get out. Bam! There we go. Okay, now, Jigglypuff should be able to take both hits. Jigglypuff has a lot of health. 
How do you like this? Oh my god, no, attack boost, are you serious? Headbutt? Oh! You gotta be kidding me, that did a lot! Oh, damn, son! Okay. Jigglypuff flinched. Oh, no. You gotta be kidding me, right? That is actually not very cool. I wanna catch this box, but at the same time... Restores 20 HP. Okay. Oh, it's used on Eevee, so I can't choose Jigglypuff to use it, okay. I'm actually gonna attack the Bidoof. Bidoof needs to be stopped. Oh my god, I can almost kill! If I get a crit, I kill. Bam! Okay, it didn't, but that's good enough. Oh my lord. Okay. Uh. Oh, wow! Oh, we can still kill it. We can still kill it, though. And now, okay, go for Eevee. Uh, I accept that. Not worried. Oh my god, the rocks. Please don't, don't hit me. Please don't hit me. And... Okay, we're good. Okay, so we can legit go here. Fight the Tapic and get the item. So catch these double slaps. Bam. 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 And now, Eevee, you're gonna destroy this Bidoof right now. Get bodied. Bam! That's and destroyed! Out of here! Okay, we're actually being able to do this well. Now, can I actually go here and attack again? Yes, I can. Oh my god. That's OP. Let's go. Quick attack. Bop! Oh my god, I forgot about Blaze. I should have not done that. Please don't attack Triglipuff. Oh my god. Don't attack Triglipuff. Another boost. Okay, go goes for Eevee. Okay, you can take that, buddy. Come on. Oh, six. That did nothing. Wow! He has a plus two attack. I don't know if there's like special attack and a physical attack difference. That's the thing. So maybe there is. And I'm just being stupid. I don't know. So that's a hundred gold. And you, sir, are out. Get out. Bodied. Oh, what? I'll remember this, you know. And we got Ignis Castle! God damn it, yes! 21% <laughs> link, not even bad. Let's go. That is amazing. Wow, 98 strength. Damn, son! And yeah, we got some good gold. Not even bad. Okay, they've gone off somewhere, we didn't recruit anything. So that's good for now, I guess, I don't know. My castle! How could I lose it? But I have made a vow! A vow! Wow, I can't read. That means I will be back. Okay. To this army's claimed victory! Hideyoshi's army, blah blah blah. Congratulations, Lord Tito's. Your second castle. I'm sure we'll start making allies before long. The only thing is, I don't know how. I don't believe it. You went into battle without knowing stuff like that? Uh, who are you? I watched your battle in Igni Ignis, or whatever, but I don't even know if you how to make it. Then I guess you got a way to go before you can be considered a real war lord. Wow. Hey, don't be like that. I wasn't making fun of you. Tell you what, I'll teach you how to make new allies, alright? My name's KG, by the way. Just come to Ignis Castle and you're ready to learn. Battles have been won. Save progress? Yes! Let's do it. So we got the first castle. That is something. I mean, it's a good start for now, right? Now, all warriors have finished their turns. Advance to the next month. Uh, yes, let's do that. Let's see, April year 1. Now, nothing happened. I'm actually going to the settings again and see. Yeah, message speed is normal. Message settings. Oh, this is what is making it so fast. Pause. We need to go into manual. So it doesn't go like crazy. Okay, skipping the messages. That's the way I want. Okay. Because he was skipping the match messages and I wasn't even pressing A. Like, that's, that's just a little bit crazy, so... Okay, let's see. So let's go into Ignis and let's actually see what this guy meant about uh, recruiting people, so... Hey there, you two! See, now the message doesn't go. Ha! <laughs> oh, that's right, I was going to teach you how to make new allies. Well, it's pretty easy. Not all warriors are part of an army, you see. There are plenty of free warriors around as well. Ones that are unattached. For example, uh... 
Ah, I know! Go and have a look at that cave. There's probably one or two in there. Start by seeing if you can recruit them. Hmm, me? Nah, I'm in a bit I'm a bit of a free spirit, so I'm not keen on staying in one place for too long. And anyway, I've got some things I need to buy in the shop. See you later, Tito's. He's gone. Where did they tell us to go again? The cave, was it? Yep, he told us to go to the cave, so let's go into the cave, I guess. And there's a Darumaka there. Oh my goodness. If that's a good mod. Oh my lord. I'll show you what I'm made of. Okay. Now these are just random fields where we can train. And recruit probably as that dude was saying. So let's see. That has a trainer. Lord Tiros, it looks like there are some warriors in here. Are you here in search of allies per perhaps? Hmm. Would I like to join you? I suppose if you were to impress me suffi sufficiently. The fittest warrior would think four turns. Okay, so there's like conditions to be able to recruit. That's cool to know. Let me actually move my units like this. So Jigglypuff goes around because Darumaka is gonna go for Eevee, and then Jigglypuff just, go just goes around and slaps it. Yep, there we go. Oh my god, Flame Wheel. What? Run up. Okay, that did some some damage, I guess. I'm not even sure. So Jigglypuff there, and you are going to fight. Wow, 18 damage, yo! So good damage from Eevee, like damn. Double slap is good, but it's only good if it does a lot, because otherwise it doesn't do a whole lot. There goes the flame wheel again. Bam, okay, we can still take those. Now, Jigglypuff, you're gonna grab this item real quick, because we still don't need your help. So that's a potion, that is good. Let's fight this thing, and it's probably gonna die now. Oh wow, it survived- 1 HP, are you serious right now? Wow! Okay, 1 HP. I'm not sure how many turns it's been now, but, like, we should be good still. I can actually finish him off with Jigglypuff just to, I don't know if it affects experience or not, but hey. There you go, there's a slap. <laughs> you might, your might is overwhelming, I am no match for you, I cannot hide it. Cool? Now the link goes up. A little bit, wow, 102 of strength, that's crazy. And we can recruit it, okay. So this might be our third member. Set warriors you wish to recruit. Okay, that's... Now this is another detail that Pedro mentioned on his comment, like he mentioned a lot of stuff, which is, which, it's really helpful now that I'm playing and I know it. He mentioned that there's like a limit for how strong the Pokemon can be, and now I can see it, because at the top you can see Link and right now it's 15%, and then it says just 68%, so that would mean that if we get a Darumaka that can go above 68%, that Darumaka will be stronger. So that's good to know, actually, so we can kind of choose between what should we train more or not, so that's gonna be better. So yeah, for now we're gonna recruit him, of course, because we don't really have anything else and all the members are gonna be needed, so we're gonna recruit him. And that's gonna be our third member. You have my eternal gratitude for extending this alive branch. Okay. You can recruit three, member three warriors by defeating them in four turns. Defeating them using a super effective move, or defeating them without any of your allies suffering damage. There are, however, some free warriors who can only be recruited by fulfilling certain other special conditions. That's interesting. Our arm is growing nicely. I think. I think things are looking up, Lord Tito's. <laughs> feeling pretty happy with yourself, huh? Oh, you again? I hope you're not resting on your laurels just because you've conquered Agnes. Uh, not really. Because Aurora is surrounded by other kingdoms, and there's still Green Leaf and Fontaine to go. You know the words of Agnes, they mostly used Fire-type Pokémon, right? Strong against grass, weak against water. Hey! Everybody knows that, of course. Anyway, I hear that the world of Greenleaf uses grass-type Pokémon. What are you talking about? I don't understand any of this. You know, I don't think the world of either Greenleaf or Fontaine 
have any interest in trying to conquer other kingdoms. I reckon now's your chance to make a move. Come on, we don't have time to stand around here chatting. We've got to get to the Ponigiri shop? Wow, that was really hard, holy crap. And increase our Pokemon's energy. It sounds like there's just no way of avoiding battle. And uh, yes, we're gonna go into the next month. And uh, that's actually a really good point from those two. And holy crap, those are the kingdoms. Okay, we got it. So now we can go into those two kingdoms, into Greenleaf and Fontaine. The more kingdoms you conquer, the more places you'll be able to travel to. You'll meet new Pokémon too, and each kingdom will have all sorts of interesting new locations to visit. That is actually really freaking cool. You won't send me off on my own anywhere, will you? Uh, I'd like to stay with you, Lord Tito's, if that's alright. Oh, Are you trying something? Come on, Oichi. Come on. Uh... <laughs> Alright, so we're, we started here, now we conquered Ignis, and now we can go into these two. This is a water type one, and holy crap, this one is strong. Yeah, this one is probably the next one we need to go, because they give us a fire type, so I guess green is the best. Then after we get grass types, we can go to the water type. Yep, that makes a lot of sense. So, next episode, not today, because it's already been 21 minutes <laughs> on this episode. We're gonna go into Greenleaf and try to conquer it, and of course between episodes I'm maybe gonna just grind a couple of times Daru Mako so you can catch up on the strength level, and uh, yeah, next episode we're gonna try and do that, so hope you guys have enjoyed, and uh, of course hope you guys are like, uh, if you guys agree with the rules I'm trying to make to fit this game, because that's the only thing I'm trying, I'm trying to make the rules work with the game, because uh, this is a blind LP, but I still want to, to try the Nuzlocke it, so... So yeah, I'm trying to make the rules fit and everything. Again, thanks to Pedro for the big advice and help and everything to set up this episode. So I guess from now on, we're set on the rules. Basically, a Pokémon dies, we can't use it, apart from the two protagonists. If that For those two, both need to die so we lose, otherwise we don't, so that's basically the special condition for this game, so we can play it. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed, next episode we're gonna try and conquer uh, Greenleaf, so if you guys have enjoyed, please make sure to fire punch like button down below, because the support is really appreciated, and that way I know if you guys are enjoying or not, and next episode, Tito's army is gonna conquer Greenleaf, so until then, stay beast! See ya!